We've done 17 yoga asanas just now. These are the warm up. The warm ups to prepare the body, the mind, the breath for the next sequences of the classical Hatha Yoga postures. You can have a nice smile. The yoga asanas are done mindfully. So this is the reason why we call these mindful practices. We have to be aware of how much we can push the body, not beyond its present capacity, but we can train it to gradually improve. According to our desires, we can achieve those desires for our body to improve, to be more flexible, more toned, to reach the weight that you want. All of this can be done, but you have to give it time. You have to work with it with love and compassion and kindness, but consistency is also important to us. There are so many aspects which we will need to study and perform in order to improve the quality of our lives. You cannot just live according to your whims and fancies. One day you decide to do and then after three days you forget it. And all this is not conducive for evolution and self-development. There must be consistency. Alright, next we are going to work on the abdomen, the lower back, knee and hip. Padasanchalana means leg rotation. We start by bending the left leg, not so much. Just give a good stretch at the ankle. Not, the knee is not bent so much, but uh, give more stretch to the ankle. And then the hands with the palms facing down, close to the body. So the palms will act as support. And what we do is we raise the right leg. We can do it together now, Shukam. Raise the right leg and then bend the right leg. Bring the thigh close to the chest and bring the lower leg close to the hamstring. Yeah, feel the squeeze on the abdomen, breathe out. Then straighten the leg close to the floor without any contact to the floor. And then slowly inhale, raise the leg and feel the thigh muscles being exercised, the knee and the work on the hip. But also remember, we are working on the right side of the abdomen and get a good squeeze to the abdomen here. And we do opposite direction. Now the right leg, we stretch up. We do our best to straighten the leg. We stretch the ankles too, all the way close to the floor, but no contact to the floor. Breathe out, bend the knee, stretch the hip and squeeze the abdomen close to the the thigh and then up the thigh close to the abdomen and then straighten the leg all the way down and we conclude and bend the right leg now <coughs> and straighten the left leg inhale and raise the left leg and allow it to bend get a good squeeze to the left side of the abdomen lower the, the lower leg good squeeze to the abdomen and then straighten the leg close to the floor, inhale, raise the leg, feel the knee, thigh, abdomen and then bring the thigh close to the chest, lower leg close to the hamstring, squeeze to the abdomen. Then we do opposite direction, we stretch out the leg up, stretch the ankle all the way down, close to the floor and then bend the leg and stretch the thigh close to the stomach and a good squeeze to the stomach stomach and then one more time breathing in stretch up all the way down rest for a while we do with both legs but before that get the breathing in order make sure we are oxygenating well practice deep breathing have a nice smile feel happy go according to your capacity Remember that you have the freedom to go according to your capacity, so there should not be any stress at all. Just relax, enjoy, and be yourself. Now, both legs, again, supported by the palms, we lift the feet off the floor and we bring the thighs close to the chest. Now, please make a decision of whether you want to do a full rotation or half. Those who have back issues, do very simple rotation, like I see here. Like this, just a small rotation like that. The rest, squeeze the abdomen with your thighs and then stretch out the legs. Inhale, you can bend it or you can straighten it, up to you. Then after that you come down as low as you can without any discomfort. And then without touching the floor or if you want to touch the floor is completely alright. Then bend the legs again. Bend the legs, 
get a good squeeze to the abdomen, good stretch to the knee, and one more round, second round, huh? breathing in, stretch out the legs, and all the way down, and then bend the legs. If you want to rest, you may rest for a while. The rest can continue with the opposite direction. Now with the knees close to the chest and the feet lifted off the floor, make sure you are stable, breath and other components of your process, all steady. Now straighten the leg close to the floor, this is opposite, straighten the legs close to the floor. If you want to keep it bent, it's alright, and inhale, raise the legs and allow the legs to bend. Working on the knee, hip, and get a good squeeze on the abdomen. If you don't want to continue, you can rest. The rest, we move on to the second round. Go according to capacity by yourself. Slow, slow. Hatha Yoga, we do slowly. You want to feel a greater connection with the breath. And the breath essentially has to be slow and breath controlled and nice smile, relax and once you are down, once you are in the Shavasana and the breathing is almost stable, almost like halfway stable, then we can do deep breathing. Come, bring the hands over the abdomen, exhale, contract the abdomen, inhale, stretch the arms sideways over the head, cross over the head, feel the expansion of the chest, ribcage, uncross, breathing out, Cross over the abdomen. One more time. <laughs> After we have completed, have a nice smile. Clear all the thoughts. Clear all the thoughts. Relax. Be at the present moment. Whatever happened yesterday or this morning, all this can be cleared from our consciousness. All that already passed. Right now, you need to really enjoy this moment with your body. This is a time for yourself. Focus on your breath, focus on your body, and we move on to side Santola Asana. Come up to the side. Okay, now a few ways of doing this. Huh? One is keeping the elbows down and lifting the body up and stretching. Right? Another way is keeping the, the whole body up with the arm and then up and raising. If you feel not so balanced, bring the leg down. One leg up, one leg down. Oh, and then work on stretching. But make sure the hip is up because we are working on the hips, the waist. Come. Choose arm or elbow. Arm or elbow. And then we are, we are going to lift the hip up. Okay, elbow also can hip lift. And then the arm that is free here, stretch out and to the back and look to the back, inhale, lift the hip up, stretch, feel the sides of the body, engage the sides of the body and then come down, second round, second round, lift up, lift up, inhale and then stretch, work on deep stretching, deep breathing, one, two, three and then exhale down, rest for a while. Get your breathing in order, rest for a while, relax, enjoy, and the other side. Inhale. Uh, you can keep the hip down if you if there are if it is a bit challenging, you can hit, keep the hip down. Just work on two rounds. Deep inhalation, look to the back, work on the hip, work on the hip, nice deep stretch, wonderful asana to work on the waist and at the same time weight bearing to strengthen our, our hip bones. Unsupported Pujang Asana after this. So before that, let's enjoy a short rest. And always uh, we can take this opportunity to practice deep breathing. Keep the legs close to each other, hands close to the thighs, palms facing up. Inhale, raise the arms. 
oxygenating all the way to the back, press the palms hard, expand the chest, turn the palms up, raise the arms, breathing out, all the way down, press the palms hard again, so one more time, now breathe in, have a nice smile, enjoy the deep breathing, feel connected with your body, with the breath, and through the breath, with the with nature, Our nature supplies us this beautiful breath, have a nice smile, enjoy this moment. Unsupported Bhujangasana. Devalamba Bhujangasana. Okay, Cobra pose, unsupported. Unsupported this way. Okay, come down. All lie down like this in Makarasana. Makarasana. Watch me. Cobra, you know, this is Cobra, right? So unsupported means you lift the knee off the mat, that's it, right? So you're supporting with your palms and your toes. And bring the hip, the pubic bone, but no contact. And just, okay, that's all. Hands are, hand position here, see hand position. Hand is next to the chest. Hand is next, at the edge of the mat. And your legs are apart on the toes. Bhujangasana up. Squeeze the shoulders down and goes back. If you want to, then you lift the knees off the mat. If you want to, lift the knees off the mat. And then get good squeeze and goes down and goes back. Next stretch. Expand the chest. One more round. Knees off if you want to. Only if you want to. Elbows back. Squeeze the shoulders down. Have a nice smile. The Lord, come right down, inshallah, salah. Okay, now all wake up, buddy, yeah? All wake up. Only if you want to. Elbows back. Squeeze the shoulders down. Have a nice smile. The Lord, come right down, inshallah, salah. Okay, now all wake up, buddy, yeah? All wake up. Mind see how clear. Oh, my dear. We do a spinal twist, Jeru Akrasana. We do in this particular asana, which is called Swastika Asana, with the leg in front, in Adanda Asana. We bring the left leg. Where is the left leg? <laughs> okay, left leg, uh, left leg, under. Okay, the left leg is under, that means right leg will be on top, right? The right leg on top like that. So Swastikasana, we will do our best to bring, and we are not sitting on the left ankle or the left foot. And we are going to gently stretch the top leg down, and you can lift the body to work on this. It's called Swastikasana. Sometimes they call this the Gomukha Asana, the sitting asana, but it's okay, whatever you want. It doesn't matter if the leg is up. We are just practicing. All the leg is in whatever position right now. It's alright. So can you feel the stretch on the hips? <coughs> Spinal twist. Now, right hand, raise the right hand. Bring the right hand to the back. Right hand to the back. Hold your waist. Hold your waist or the toe there. There. There is one toe there. <laughs> toe. Okay. We try to go there. Uh, or we can move the body. We can move the body and then we can go. So maybe next year. <laughs> okay, that either hold the waist or the toe. Now left hand up. Left hand hold the thigh. Left hand hold the right, straight in the back and exhale, stretch to the right. Uh, right shoulder to the back, exhale, right shoulder to the back, right shoulder to the back, one, two, three, and then slowly come up, release. The same leg, you will do the other side. Left hand, raise the left hand, go to the back, hold the waist, or the toe. <laughs> Move the body and to the toe and the right hand, raise the right hand, hold the ankle of the right leg, straight to the back, exhale, stretch the left shoulder to the back, left shoulder to the back, 
It's a spinal twist, so therefore they must feel the spine in a nice beautiful twist. And then release the hands and then the, the lower leg out first. <coughs> then upper leg and then allow that a nice stretch. Can you feel the stretches on the hips, on the waist? Take a deep breath in, inhale, exhale. Now the other side, which leg goes down? Right leg goes down, left leg up. Opening up the hip, hip stretch, nice deep stretch. Left hand, left hand to the back, waist or toe, waist or toe, right hand on the thigh, right hand on the thigh, turn and twist to the left, come, squeeze the right, left shoulder to the back, left shoulder to the back, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Come back to the center. Now the right hand up, right hand to the back or to the toe. And the left hand up, left hand hold the left ankle in front. Up, stretch and twist. Come, twist to the back, exhale, twist, 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 twist. And then release and relax the legs. Have a nice relaxing time, have a nice smile. And let's do deep breathing, come breathing in, oxygenating and breathe out. Short practice of pranayama, you will be breathing in dhyana, short meditation, come on. <coughs> Basic practice, first practice. Primary practice is to when you want to talk about when you talk about breathing, you have to first clear the nostrils, right? So we have a technique called kapalabhati, which we use to clear the, the blocked nose. It is done by blocking one nostril with maybe let's say the right thumb, and then keep the mouth closed completely, and only exhale. Use the stomach as a soft pump. Don't don't compress the stomach too high and there is no inhalation for five times with this like that to clear the nose come let's do this uh, the breath to the left if you have severe congestion of the nostrils then you have to learn a technique called chala Nindi. you can ask any of our instructors and they can teach you this practice called chala Nindi. Now, block the other nostril, you can use the same hand, right hand with the ring finger and then exhale, exhale, stop pumping with the stomach, and not very hard movement of the stomach, okay then observe the breath, you can do alternate, left right, left right, left right, block one, and then the other open, then use your fingers alternately, Five percent times. So you've done left, you've done right, and then you've done alternate, and now you do both. I mean, it's not both closed, but without using the hand, both open. See? Uh, so it's a systematic acceleration. And then observe the breath. Much clearer. So this is wonderful service to our body. When we wake up in the morning, as soon as we wake up, we express our gratitude to the universe, to God, whatever your belief system is, you know, expressing your, your thankfulness, your gratitude to the universe, to God, to nature. And then you start by clearing the nostril. And then after that you start your practices or you answer the calls of nature and we will work on a short meditation. What is meditation? Meditation is the art of improving the health of our mind. A mind can be seen in two components but actually is one. But for ease of understanding, we can keep it into two. One is the, your intellect, your thinking, you, you think, 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 uh, that is your intellect. And then another one is your feeling, feel, feel, feel. If we can get both in balance, in a state of balance, 
but not only in a state of balance. Balance means not using this in relation to that and then keep it in a state of balance. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about keeping the emotions in a state of balance and keeping the intellect or the logical or the rational component of the mind in a state of balance. So rational thinking in a state of balance, emotional feeling in a state of balance, and then using both of these to evolve your self. That's all. Evolve yourself through this balancing process is called meditation. So which means that every moment can be a state of meditation because you are attempting to balance it. But don't be angry with the mind if it is not helping you initially. Don't be negative with yourself. Don't beat yourself emotionally. Don't do that. Just say that I'm giving, I can, I will give myself a little bit of time. Definitely I will work together with my mind. I will continue to improve. I will continue to enjoy these practices, these processes. One of the things that we need to do is we need to be more relaxed, more comfortable. We cannot be serious all the time. We can be serious in practicing, but the practice itself has to be enjoyable. So learn to smile more, learn to be to bring more humor in your life. Learn to crack one or two healthy jokes, all these in a day. Learn to go home and wish, greet your parents, your children, or if you are married, uh, with a very nice, cheerful disposition. In the morning, make sure you tell good morning. If you are living alone, then you tell good morning to yourself. So like this, with a smile, the first thing that you do in the morning is smile to yourself. Make, make this life worth living. And this life made worth living is by yourself. Nobody else can make that for you. You have to do it by yourself. Don't equate happiness with money. Please don't. Don't link happiness and joy with a car or a house or with a relationship. Please do not make that mistake. Happiness is by itself. And then in that happy state, go out and bring whatever that you desire to a state of materialization. You can materialize it step by step, slowly. Think about this, like what I'm sharing with you is just very practical, simple methods which you can employ in your daily lives. We will conclude with Brahmari or the humming bee breath. Resonance are very important. Vibrations are so important. When you say something, when you think, all this creates vibrations. So make sure when you speak, when you think, think in a way which brings good vibrations, which brings rejuvenation, happiness, growth and success in the small things that we do in our daily lives. Start with the small things first and then the small things add up to become good, beautiful, great things. Brahmari is done by inhaling and then humming when you exhale. Inhale with a soft smile, hum with a soft smile. High, high, not face hum. Smiling, check, check your face, smiling, uh, smiling, smile, be smiling face, smiling face. Nice to look at you when you smile. Inhale, soft high pitch. that you can speak to yourself. You speak uh, these words to bring this into your vocabulary. One final round, breathing in. Positive, 
loving, compassionate, my body is healing, I can tap into my healing powers, I can tap into my creative thoughts, I can be successful, I can bring so much of evolution joy to myself, to the world. Let's wish all the people on earth, all family members, loved ones, those who we work with. And I would like to wish each one of you in our class here for giving me gratitude in my heart, for giving me an opportunity to share these lessons, this knowledge of yoga with you. And I wish you and your family and all those who we work with in the whole world, we all enjoy good health, long life, prosperity, happiness, wisdom, peace, love, and both share of the past together and place it on the table.